guys um all right i'm gonna make this video on why you might want your ex back okay although you probably shouldn't because that mother trucker probably screwed you over and that's why you're watching this right okay cool so number one they know you and they understand you like they you already been through the talking stage you're really, like you guys already went through everything so it's kind of like you they just they just understand you and they get you and they know you number two you don't want to start over you definitely do not want to start over like with someone else and you have to go through them and you have to feel it out and then you have to go through all this blah blah, blah. and in the end he's probably going to turn out to be like a mother trucker again so you really didn't do anything right there huh yeah okay number three you miss them. You probably miss that mother trucker like no other, right? And you're probably, you probably cried. You screamed in your pillow and you cried on the floor and you ate ice cream like no other. I actually want ice cream now that I think about it. Okay. Anyways, yeah. So you miss them and whatnot. Number four, you have history with them. You have history, okay? B like, it's kind of like... You already, like I said for the first one, like, you you kind of, like, you already know everything and, like, you already, you know, did whatnot and stuff. So, so, yeah, like, you just have history with them. Okay. Number five. You opened up to them. You spilt your heart out. You did what you did. Like, you, you may have, like, never opened up to anyone, like, the way you opened up to this person and whatnot. So, like, you feel like... You lost a part of yourself because, you know, when you lose someone that you invest so much time in and so much effort and so much love in and whatnot, you feel like you lost yourself too. But you didn't. Number six, they know your boundaries. They know that you ain't going that way, this way, what way, okay? They know your boundaries. They know, like, how to push your buttons, when to, when not to. Um, they know what you're into and what you're not into and whatnot. So they just, they just know you. Number seven, you spent time, effort, love, probably money, okay, and um, whatnot. So you spent, like I said before, like you spent time, energy, you invested all that in that one person, you know. Um, number eight, you don't want anyone else. And I feel like you don't want anyone else now because, like, you're hurting. Like, you, the only person that you want is the person that hurt you, which, if you think about it, like, why would you want someone that hurt you? Like, why? Like, you're going to be like... Because I love them. Okay, but if they loved you, do you think they would hurt you like this? No. Right. So, you just don't want anyone else now. But pretty soon, when you're all healed up and you're ready to go and that band-aid is on you, you'll just want to rip it off and just see someone else, okay? Yeah, number nine. They met important people in your life, okay? I know, like... You have that one, you know, family member or your dog or something or your cat or your hamster or something. Okay, your turtle maybe, I don't know. Whatever you have that's very important to you in your life, that person met them. And now it's kind of like, you kind of feel like betrayed in a way. Like, I met you, I let you meet my family and the most important people in my life. And I took you to like, our like, you guys probably have like our, your secret spots or something or like your date night or something and now you feel like you can't go to those places because you know they haunt that place or something okay or th basically they met like important people in your life or important things or whatever and you kind of feel like wow like I let you in and whatnot and this is how you repay me anyways number 10 you had that connection and you had the happiness with them okay they came the total package everything you've ever asked for on this dang piece of paper they had it ignore that they had everything right and then and then they screwed you over okay or maybe you kind of ended things with them not everything i talk about is about an ex or or an ex something okay sometimes like people y'all do mistakes too no one's perfect okay so that's what i'm saying so Maybe you ended it, maybe you did a mistake or something, but that's not the point. Point is, is that you had the connection and you had, had, you felt so happy. Like, you may have never felt, like, this much happiness or a connection to, to a person before, you know? And that's the thing with, like, relationships. Like, they can screw you over big time, okay? But, honey, it's worth the risk because maybe, who knows, like, they can actually be, like, a good person, okay? But I'm mixing up. 
all of this, okay? Basically, y'all had a connection, and you felt happy, and you were happy with them, and they made you feel beautiful, even though you are beautiful, okay? But they made you feel, like, ten times better about yourself, and, you know, and whatnot. And they took you to your favorite place to eat, and they y'all ate and stuff, and whatnot. And I feel like people, like, they don't want to start over because they don't want to go through that whole... Not even, like, talking phase or not even, like, feeling phase. It's that whole, like, I don't know how good this person is going to be to me. You know, because people can say, I'm I'm not like that. No, like, I'm not a cheater. I've never cheated. But, like, that doesn't mean, like, you're not going to cheat on me. Like, you know, you haven't done that before, but that don't mean nothing, okay? So... I don't know, it's kind of like, I feel like people are, like, terrified to get into relationships because they're terrified to get, like, attached or clingy or whatever to the person. Like, that person just leaves them, you know, and whatnot. And then it's just a whole lot of mess. But bottom line is, if you do want your ex back, why? Because you love them. Because you felt all these things that I've said. Because you did this, that, and the other. Okay, but if this person didn't treat you right, really, why? And if they, if you're going to be like, they treated me like a princess or a prince or something or whatever, but some things in life are not meant to be, okay? Some things in life are just not, no matter how much you want them to be, no matter how much you try, they are just not meant to be, okay? And there are bigger and better things out there, okay? And I'm just letting you guys know that, like, I feel like you shouldn't be hung up on a person, you know, because life goes on no matter what. Like, you can miss him now, 25 years from now, when you're 81 years old in a nursing home, okay? You can look back on your life and be like, wow, like, damn, like, this person meant a lot to me, but he turned out to be a piece of doo-doo, okay? Because whatever, you know, and pe people are going to use the excuse like, well, we were young and dumb. All right, that's cool, but... How long can you keep saying that? You're young and dumb. I'm actually wearing two earrings, but you can't see that. Okay. Not that that matters. But anyways. So, yeah. So, I just feel like y'all just need to worry. Get your ish together first. And then start worrying about about people and about other things. And if your ex left, let them leave. Hold the door open and be like, goodbye. And then slam that door shut. And don't ever open it ever, ever again. No matter how good or how... No matter how good it sounds, just don't. Don't let history repeat itself, okay? We don't need none of that happening again. Okay? We don't need your tears to be wasted on a person, okay? Your tears are worth so much more than that. And you are so much better than that. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you agree. Or maybe you disagree. I don't know. So let me know. So like it, dislike it, do what you want because just do it. And um, I will... See y'all in my next video. Bye.